We are starting a new assignment in computer art and what we're looking at uh, for examples here are some pop art portrait examples. Um, so you, what you can see is we have some musicians, um, actresses, and actually a fictional character. But this fictional character has human features. So if you choose to use a character, um, you're going to have to use one that has human features. For instance, Batman, Spider-Man, um, any one of those characters, Iron Man type of thing uh, could work for this. Um, what we're going to do is uh, check out first my uh, started example that I have going. Um, what we want to do is start this as a new document that's going to be a width of 8, a height of 10 inches, and then a resolution of 150. Okay, and once you start that, you can copy and paste in an image that you find through a Google search. In my instance, it is this Abe Lincoln image. Um, and so I pasted that into my document and then locked it by hitting the uh, lock feature. Okay, so that first layer that you paste in should be locked that way you don't um, move it okay so stretch it to fill your page um, if it gets grainy that doesn't really matter because we're going to be redrawing it right over the top um, the tool we're going to use is the pen tool okay so what we're going to do is start by kind of zooming in here and as you can see I've started to do um, some of these all these kind of really dark shadows um, the same color red here, if I turn off this uh, image layer for a second, you can see what our finished result starts to look like because this image um, as the base layer will be taken out at the end. Um, but I've kept all these tones um, about the same for these really dark shadow shapes. So I'm going to start by just kind of clicking through and drawing along the shape of this shadow that goes along the top of the ear. And then once you get back to the starting point, you'll see that little bubble pop up next to your cursor. And when you click, that uh, closes that shape. Now we can change our fill color a couple ways. I can click on the fill option up here in the top bar um, and then change my color from either my recently used colors or pick a new one. Or I can pick from the color picker menu. Okay, I'm going to use the same dark red color that I've used for my darker shadows. Um, the other thing that we want to make sure about when using the pen tool is that, um, well, for one, we can press P on our keyboard to get to the pen tool. And then we want to make sure that this is uh, on shape option rather than path. Okay, so we'll put that on shape and then um, continue drawing. So I might draw another kind of small shape here for this one. Um, maybe I'll trace and draw another small shape for this shadow back here. Um, as I keep moving around, um, let's see, so here as I start to kind of try and get this shape of the ear, um, what I may want to do, well maybe not for this one, okay so maybe for this one um, I don't need to change the opacity yet, but that's a little trick that you can use. Um, let's see, I'll find a good shape here. If I zoom in a bit on this cheek shape, um, I'm going to take my pen tool and if I want to kind of draw this shape um, but see what's underneath, okay, I can go ahead and turn my opacity down so I can see, you know, where do I want the edge of that shape to continue and it'll keep my pen tool going until I get finished, okay. Now I can go back to my opacity, turn that back up to make that shape solid and there we go. Now the other thing we may want to do is pull these layers down okay so when you start drawing them over the top of other layers see how now I pulled that and it's behind the beard shape um, that's a little bit more where we would want it to be okay so again pressing P on your keyboard will bring you to the pen tool really quick um, I'll go ahead and outline another shape here and you should really be trying to mix up your colors make them bold make them kind of out there sort of colors um, that don't quite uh, you know don't quite resemble colors you would normally see. Um, again, I'm just going to kind of keep going here and draw a really big shape actually this time that kind of takes up a good amount of this cheek. Okay, and again, I can either pick my fill color from the menu up here. Um, let's see, maybe I'll take like this light teal color again. It's actually maybe too much of that color. Maybe I'll go with, uh, no, the light orange is too close. 
uh, that light yellow. I think that works pretty well. Um, and again, I'm going to take that shape and drag it down below my other shapes so that it's behind them. All right, there we go. So that's kind of a base layer type of shape. I want to make sure that it's pulled down pretty far to the back there. Okay. Um, the other thing, too, is if you want to change the color of a shape um, when I have it selected, the other thing we can do is, uh, is just double click on the thumbnail of this uh, particular shape. And then if I change the color in the color picker here, you can see it change live, which is kind of nice because um, then you can see what's, how it's relating to the other colors that you have picked. Um, so I'm going to cancel that for now. Um, but uh, I think that pretty much covers it. So, you know, um, be expressive with your colors. You know, include the whole shoulders and in, your, um, in your image. And then lastly, you're going to want to turn off your uh, image base layer in order to see your kind of finished result. Um, and so I'm just going to keep going here and fill this in a little bit more. So I had to pull that layer down pretty far to get it behind um, the other layers there. Um, and I may change that color up later, um, but I may just keep filling in some more of these hair shapes to determine that.
All right, so I think that's pretty good progress for now. And so um, I will refer to you to another tutorial where it's kind of more sped up and uh, completing the whole thing. But essentially, um, you know, that's the process. Um, and so I wish you lots of luck and, uh, and hope you have success with this project.